Hello, hello, hello! Make a shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. Especially to all my students and their parents. And if you are new to my channel, please... One... Subscribe! Two... Like, share, don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification, 3, like, leave a comment, subscribe. Four. Subscribe. All right. Our lesson for today is about still, you know, in the fourth quarter, our lesson is statistics, and this time the topic is cumulative frequency distribution, and this will be explained in Filipino and English. Okay, so what is a cumulative frequency distribution? A cumulative frequency distribution can be obtained by adding the frequency starting from the frequency of the lowest class interval up to the frequency of the highest class interval. It is also possible to do the reverse. That is, we, we start to accumulate in the other direction. This is greater than cumulative frequency. Okay, so here is the example of a cumulative frequency distribution of a 30 math quiz. So we have the apparent limits or we call it class interval. We have the true limits or class boundaries, the frequencies. We have the less, cumul less than cumulative frequency and the more than cumulative frequency. Okay, so... The class interval, so napansin nyo, it started from 10. The lowest class interval is 10 to 11. And the highest is 28 to 29. And uh, the, in the uh, last video, we studied about uh, how to get the class boundary. So, we just subtract and plus, no? So, um, we subtract, no? Nag-minus tayo ng 0.5 sa lowest boundary. At nag din tayo ng 0.5 sa higher boundary or sa upper boundary o sinatawag din nating upper limit. And then, the frequency, so we add a total, that is about 60. Now, how to get the, uh, paano natin kukunin yung less than cumulative frequency. Pag sinabi natin less than cumulative frequency, we start here from the lowest boundary. So, we have 14. So, isulat mo muna yung 14. 14 plus 10 is equals to 24. 24 plus 6, no? So, parang ganito ang direction lagi, no? Yan. 24 plus 6 equals 30. Then, 30 plus 8 is equals to 38. 38 plus 6 is equals to 44. 44 plus 6 is equals to 50. 50 plus 3 is equals to 53. 53 plus 3 is equals to 56. 56 plus 3 is 59. And 59 plus 1 is equals to 60. Okay, reverse naman natin ngayon, balik ta rin natin, start tayo sa upper boundary. Pag nagsimula tayo sa upper boundary, yun ang tinatawag natin na more than cumulative frequency. That's why we have greater than CF or greater than cumulative frequency. So, start tayo dito sa 1. 1 plus 3 is equals to 4. No? 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. 7 plus 3 is equals to 10. 10 plus 6 equals 16. 
16 plus 6 is equal to 22. 22 plus 8 is equal to 30. 30 plus 6 is equal to 36. 36 plus 10 is 46. And 46 plus 14 is equal to 60. Okay, tama, no? Nag-jive silang tatlo. Now, let us interpret the previous table. Now, a score of 60, no? Ano ibig sabihin ng 60 na score? Under the heading of less than a community frequency means that there are 60 students, no? So, meron 60 students who got a score less than 29.5. No? So, 60 students na nakakuha ng mas mababa kaysa no? uh, mas mababa sa 29.5. While a score of 38 under the same heading means that there are 38 students who got, who got scores less than 17.5. Mas mababa sa 17.5 naman. Then, a score of 60 under the heading greater than CF means that there are 60 students who got the scores of 9.5. No? So, mas marami na isadyante ang nakakuha ng mas mataas sa 9.5. No? And then, while a score of 22 means that there are 22 students who got scores greater than 17.5. Okay, next. Let's do this. Okay, so the graph of a community frequency distribution is represented by a line graph known as OGIB. In graphing the list done community frequency, okay, so the community frequencies are plotted against the true upper limit or Limits or upper class boundary. So, while in graphing the greater than community frequency, the community frequencies are plotted against the true lower limits or lower class boundaries. Okay. So, on the next video, we will study how to graph no, community frequency distribution or using the line graph. Okay. Okay. So... Let us prepare a community frequency distribution table of 30 students in math quiz. Then analyze it. Okay, so we have... So, kung napapansin ninyo, the quiz is... The highest is 100 and the lowest is 71. No? Okay, so... If we are going to get the community frequency, let's start from the lowest. So, we have 5... 8, okay, because 5 plus 3 equals to 8, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10, 10 plus 9 is 19, 19 plus 5 is 24, 24 plus 6 is 30, 30 plus 6 is 36, 36 plus 1 is 37, 37 plus 1 is 38, 38 plus 2 is equal to 40. Okay, that's it. Now, ano ibig sabihin yan? Okay, for example, let's have, let's take this 36. So, ibig sabihin yan, there are 36 students, no? Got the scores below 91.5, no? So, 36 students got the score below 91.5. Point five, huh? Look na naman. Yes, okay. Ayan. Alright, so ganun na naman. So, usually, um, ang hindi lang yan papasa chan is from 74. Baba. No, pero pag ganyan ang score, pasado yan halo. Next, let us prepare a community frequency distribution table of birth, no? No, lagi natin ang obto. Of birth weights of 50 Filipino males born in hospitals, and then analyze it. Okay, so we have here no the class interval. So the highest weight is 39, and the lowest weight of the 
uh, Filipino males, no? Born males, born in hospital is 89. So, let's get the less than community frequency distribution. So, we'll start from 1. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. 6 plus 9 is equal to 15. 15 plus 2, 17. 17 plus 5 <coughs> equals 23. Okay, again, uh, 17 plus 5, the answer is 22. No, not 23. So, try natin no. So, 22. 22 plus 1, 23. And then 23 plus 8 is equals to 31. 31 plus 9 is equals to 40. Okay, 40 plus 10 is 50. Alright, so check. Then, uh, if we are going to analyze this one, uh, for example, take the score of 23. Ano ibig sabihin yan? It means, no, the 23 babies were born less than 121.5. No? So, 23 babies hmm, born. Ibig sabihin, pina, pinanganak, no, less than uh, 121.5 ang kanilang Timbang. Okay, ang dami, no? So, halos kalahati ng pinapanganak daw na babies is mababa ang timbang. Okay, next. So, for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go, Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the contents of our channel, and think brightly. Make a love shout out to all the members and software chatters of this channel, especially to Winner Blog, uh, Alea, and Abby and Alea, Joy, um, Teacher Fe Channel, Pinay Australia TV, uh, Anthony, and uh, Mark Anthony PJ, and Mellow Touch. Thank you so much, and all the uh, members. Na hindi ko na mabanggit. Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Bye bye. I love you all. To the teams, to all the teams that supporting me, I love you all.